guys. Today we are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and we're standing in front of Dolly Parton's Dream More. Now we're headed in here to try their breakfast buffet. We've already done the dinner buffet once, never the breakfast. So we're going to take you inside and show you everything they have to offer. Are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. So the prices here at the Song and Hearth. Breakfast is served Monday through Saturday from 7 to 11. Ages 10 and up, $19.95. Children, 4 to 9, $9.95. And on Sunday, they have a brunch from 7.30 to 12. It's $24.95 for age 10 and up and $13.95 for age 4 and 9. Take a quick look at all the seating in here. Go all the way around back there. You have this big room. Right off here is the buffet. Come down this way, and you got this area that wraps all the way around back through here. So, a lot of places to sit, guys. This is probably the coolest place, this big room here. But I like where we sat today. We asked to come back in this corner, more private. We got this big table back here. Start down at this end, go around this table, have some milk, assorted cereals, granola, yogurt. Seasonal fruit. Stone ground grits. Bobby's trusted oatmeal. Steel cut oatmeal. What do you have there, Bobby? Looks like some brown sugar. Mm -hmm. and raisins. Different things to put in your oatmeal. Sausage patties. Wood smoked bacon. Scrambled eggs. And a veggie scrambler. What kind of stuff in that? Ham steaks. And some fried apples. Ketchup, jalapeno, salsa, and cheese. Let's take a look inside here. There's some hash browns. And prime rib hash. Good look at that. Load it up. Put all that prime rib in there. And some more fresh fruit down at this end. Orange juice and apple juice that's nice that's included in your price get your own glass let's head over here gluten-free breads a couple muffins in there all right start at this end country gravy Here's your buttermilk biscuits 
Next we have croissants, assorted muffins, some scones, sorry about the glare, butter, jam and jelly, and cream cheese, breakfast breads, a little toaster, and at the end, old fashioned donuts. You can smell that as soon as I opened it up. Down through here. Buttermilk pancakes. There's some toppings you can put on those. And maple syrup and sugar-free breakfast syrup. Belgian waffles. And French toast. Something Bobby just pointed out to me. The waffles have the butterfly in the center. And my light just popped on. You can see a little better that way. Some different pancakes. Birthday cake pancakes. Cinnamon. Blueberry. Chocolate chip. And triple chocolate pancakes. I like the size of those too. What do you think about them, Bobby, being that size? Yeah, it's a perfect size, especially for kids or if you want to try a few different ones. And this gentleman right here will make you some omelets. How you doing? Get to choose from these items over here. Ice selection. First round, triple chocolate pancakes. What'd you get, Bobby? I went with the blueberry pancakes, biscuits and gravy, and hash browns. And a little container with your syrup in there. Yeah. That makes it nice because if you have to put the syrup on before, it gets all over the rest of your food. Just enough. I'm going to start off with the uh, blueberry pancake. Blueberries inside. Nice light pancake. Like I said, that blueberries are inside of the pancake mixture. And I like these because kids, you know, sometimes a big one they could waste. Or you could try several different ones because they had different flavors. Like John got the triple chocolate. We'll try some of the hash browns. Those are very good. Now they're not overly crisp. But you get a lot of the potato flavor. More like a um, fried potato than me. Very good. Country biscuits and gravy. The biscuits are done well. They're nice and flaky. I love the sausage in the gravy. The little bit of spice, but nothing overly spicy. All right, let's just go through these. Bacon, not overly crisp, but crisp enough. Let's just try it. Nice and greasy. I like it that way. All right, the bacon's not overly crisp, but it does have a nice flavor to it. I got this prime rib hash, I think it was called. It looks like little pieces of potato and some vegetables in there. Try that. Try one more bite of it because I found a piece of prime rib in there. That's a lot of flavors going on. Bobby, I think you would like that with all those vegetables. You get a lot of vegetable flavor to that since they're all mixed in there together a piece of sausage the basic sausage doesn't have a real strong flavor to it seasoning mild seasoning decent now that looks like a pretty nice piece of ham look at that pretty good size chunk now I like that ham that is not country ham there's no salt taste to it. it's more of a sugar ham but look at that I might have to get another piece of that. Nice Get enjoy that. Yeah, it's very thick. Hash browns, Bobby tried those. I'm not going to try them. Eggs, you know, eggs are eggs. I might just go up and get a, an omelet just to show you guys that. That's why I didn't get many of these. Those are decent, nothing special about them. But I normally don't get pancakes, but since they were so small, I had to get this triple chocolate pancake. So let's just try it. I don't think I've ever had a triple chocolate pancake before. 
I've been missing out not trying triple chocolate pancakes because I like that. And that icing they have on there is very good. You guys can see inside it. Don't need any syrup on that. That's more like a dessert for breakfast. Got a little bit of oatmeal. They had sliced almonds, raisins, and cranberries to put on it. And a little bit of brown sugar. Very good oatmeal. It's not lumpy. I like that they had the um, cranberries and raisins to give it some sweetness to it. Of course, I got these fried apples. Have the cinnamon. It's nice and thick sauce. The apples aren't too hard or too soft. They're just right. <laughs> and some cantaloupe. I don't think we've had cantaloupe this year yet. We have not had cantaloupe this year. For being this early in the season, it has a nice sweet flavor to it. A lot of times at home we get them and they're hard, but they slice this up really nice and thin too. Hard as a rock most of the time. Yeah, but this is it. All right, I went back and had them make me a small omelet, ham and cheese, and I had to get a cinnamon roll. So let's try this. Let's go after this freshly made omelet. Oh, a lot of cheese in there. Look at that. That's a pretty good omelet, guys. Got the, a lot of cheese in there. The ham tastes nice. She prepared it. Like you'd want an omelet prepared. Did a good job on it. Cinnamon roll. Right size, because if it was bigger, I'd have to eat the whole thing. Cinnamon roll is nice and warm. They do a good job at Dollywood at their bakery, so you know it's going to be fresh. Good cinnamon flavor to it. Something else I wanted to point out. Orange juice is included in this. Pretty decent orange juice. What with some more cantaloupe. I've got a few pieces for you, John, because I noticed you didn't get any. Old-fashioned donut. Nice, fresh donut. It's got a little bit of the white icing on it. This tastes like little cinnamon pieces to me. Um, but when you open the door to get the donuts out, it smells so fresh and just so good. Wasn't sure which one to get. But I didn't want to go with chocolate. Let's take a look at our receipt here at Dollywood's Dream More Resort at the Song and Hearth Restaurant. Two buffets, $39.90. Had our gold pass. We saved $5.99. Grand total, $37.55. Now we've told you in other videos, you can pick up Dollywood's famous cinnamon bread right here at Dream Moor. This is a good place to come if the park's closed or you're not headed to the park. Now, Dolly wrote a song and this will be released in 2046. She said one time in an interview, she wished they would let her sing the song because it's really good. 2046, we might make it enough to hear that. <laughs> That plank of wood is from Dolly's first stage from the front porch of her Tennessee mountain home. Now we've done a full review of this resort, so we're not gonna go over it, but it's very pretty. If I remember right, down here's all these record albums. I'll just show you that, cause that's neat. Look at that. And there was a three dimensional picture back in this section think of the train right there go at this angle you see that and if you come here it kind of changes on you go to Dollywood now this is Dolly's tour bus that you can rent out and stay in. I think two nights, $10,000, and all the money goes to, I think, the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So it's a two-night minimum. Sleep in Dolly's tour bus. Just notice if you stay in here, you have your own little 
gazebo fire pit in there. The iconic butterflies. We just got done eating here at Dream More at the Song and Hearth, a southern eatery for breakfast. What did you think about it? It's a beautiful restaurant. You had the ladies singing as you went down the stairs to the restaurant. The staff was very friendly, especially Dottie, our server. Or the, actually, she was just the lady that took our plates and gave us our drinks. Very friendly. I talked to her for a few minutes. I thought everything was very hot, fresh. I like the little tiny miniature pancakes. I think that's a great idea. I also like that waffle that had the dolly emblem on it, the butterfly. The oatmeal was probably my favorite because I love oatmeal, especially when it's cooked. It's not the instant pack. And it had the sliced almonds and raisins and cranberries that gave it a sweet flavor. So I thought it was an excellent breakfast. I also enjoyed the breakfast. They had that omelet station, make you anything you wanted. Love that ham there. The meat was all good. Fresh pineapple on there. Had a nice assortment. $19.95 I think it was if you don't have the gold pass. We paid $17 with that. If you guys saw everything they have, you can decide whether you want to pay that. But one benefit of coming out here is just walking around. Mm -hmm. Beautiful out here with all these flowers. It's just another place to eat here in Pigeon Forge, but I enjoyed everything. Nothing stuck out as being outstanding, but everything was good and fresh. And you also got your drink. Mm -hmm, that's right. That also, I mean, in that price. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building. <laughs>